Hi, my name is Andrew Meinzer of Meinzer Law Firm. This is the sixth and final video in a series about conservatorship court proceedings in California. In the prior videos, we covered who might need a conservatorship court proceeding, the three types of conservatorships, the two aspects of each of them, some of the court procedures in general, the process of having the court put you in charge of another person through a conservatorship court proceeding, and some of your responsibilities as conservator. In this video, I'm gonna talk with you about some special issues. In prior videos, we discussed that you'll need to file a bond with the court and you'll need to file account petitions with the court for approval at the end of the first year and then every other year after that, if you're conservator of the estate with authority over the assets and the income. Significantly, California law allows the court to waive the requirements of the bond and the periodic accounts. To do that, the conservatee's assets and income need to be sufficiently low, and all the income needs to be spent for the conservatee or held for his benefit. That's a big help in some cases. As conservator, you'll have legal authority to manage essentially all of the affairs of the conservatee. That said, you must obtain court approval prior to certain more significant actions. Some of those more significant actions are selling the house of the conservatee, selling other assets of his that total more than a certain amount in value, signing a trust, will, or powers of attorney for the conservatee, transferring the conservatee's assets to an existing trust, even if it's for the benefit of him, uh, preventing someone from having contact with the conservatee, and paying fees to yourself or to us from the conservatee's assets. Before doing any of those things, you first need to obtain court approval. Again, a conservatorship normally lasts for the remainder of the life of the conservatee. At the death of the conservatee, we file a final account petition for court approval if it's a conservatorship of the estate and account petitions are not waived. Through that final account petition, we'll ask the court to approve transferring legal ownership of the assets to others. So that's a summary of the California Decedents Estate Court process. Again, I'm Andrew Meinzer of Meinzer Law Firm. If you know that you need our help with a conservatorship court proceeding, or if you even have just a question, please contact us and let us take care of you.